classic definition of economics is the allocation of scarce resources toward alternative and desirable ends. Where are markets appropriate and where are markets not appropriate? And I think this recent financial collapse that the United States was at the helm of really has brought those kinds of questions back into vogue. Where are free markets, unregulated markets, the appropriate tool to encourage economic growth? Where do markets need to be regulated? And where are markets just not appropriate? That's the chief way to allocate scarce resources. Ecological economics really, again, answers that same question, how do we allocate scarce resources to meet alternative desirable ends, but looks at the scarce resources first and foremost and really questions what our ends are. If you open up any chapter one of an economics textbook, you see this circular flow diagram, this idea that the world can be broken up into households and firms, and we just need to sort of pay attention to the flows of goods and services and dollars between these two. If the environment appears anywhere, it's a sector within the economy. The starting point in mainstream economics is this mindset that the natural world is literally a subsystem of the larger economic system. I think we still have that mindset of there's always more resources over the next horizon. Or if the resources aren't here, we'll use our military assets to go and secure them. So a fundamental starting point for ecological economics is to turn that on its head. Just to have a new starting point for the study of the economy as a subsystem of the larger ecological system. On day one of any ecological economics class, you draw the box and say this is the economy and you draw the circle and you say here's the ecosystem. And the economy is fundamentally dependent on the sustaining and containing ecosystem. With that as a starting point, it leads us to very different conclusions about the priorities of economies, about how economies function, and about how we answer that question. How do we allocate scarce resources to meet alternative desirable ends?